Hotep, illustrious beings. Um, actually, um, Uh, just woke up it's 11 39 when I was first coming in from work I really needed some rest and one of the reasons why I needed some rest was because my head was hurting mm, excuse me my head was hurting and I realized um I think I'm going well I'm for sure going through some type of um, detox, some type of emotional, physical detox. Um, and uh, the amazing thing is it's a beautiful awkwardness. <laughs> um, I woke up thinking about an ex this morning and I've been looking at a lot of stones that help like cut the cords of um of different like i guess what you would call from a church perspective soul ties i'm gonna add one of my favorite check chants i just feel like hearing this in the background right now this is my joy mm -hmm. i love this joy right here Anyway, long story short, I don't really know the full effects um, of these crystals, and I haven't gotten them yet, but I believe that supernaturally the work that I'm doing is having that effect and helping to um, heal my internal self and my external self, and I just don't care right now, and I know that's gonna bother a lot of people because it, it even bothers me sometimes I, I battle with it like you should care more you should be upset more and don't get me wrong I still get frustrated about stuff that doesn't matter like somebody handing me extra paperwork at work and I have to throw it away instead of that person throwing it away when they could have threw it away stuff like that really bothers me and I'm really working on not being bothered by that and learning how to settle the heart and um, my dupe sticks are burning in my face. It's such a beautiful smell. So I spent, I came down from my, my higher state of being just long enough to tune into a little bit about Ron Paul. And I really like Ron Paul for president. Um, I don't know how he will be as a president. I, I if he's anything like he is as a congressman, I doubt he would last long as president. But um, I like what he says. He's the only one who says what he says. Whether he would follow up on this stuff or not, uh, I don't know. Um, but I just look at how distracted we often are. We have so many causes, so many issues. And I'm realizing within myself that I am my cause and my issue. Um, a lot of things that bother me are things that I allow to bother me. Um, I was reading something earlier today and I just looked at how often we blame our state of being on other people, you know, or on other things, you know, the world is like, I even saw a healer today write about like something falling from the sky. And I mean, it's cool to, to write about this stuff, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know where I am. I'm just at a place. It's like, if something is falling from the sky, <laughs> what can we do about it? Like, if common Ellen is coming, if, you know, whatever is happening, is happening. Like, why are we allowing ourselves to be worried and vexed and walking in a state of fear and I'm so at the place where I believe that we are so powerful that if we begin to collectively bring our energy together and stop being so distracted by this thing and that thing and this and that's where I'm at like I find myself being so much more quiet and introspective and I just see the ability that we have and that we're infinite beings like 
if tomorrow the planet exploded, it's not the end for any of us. Like, ascended beings or not ascended beings. Master teachers or not a teacher. I mean, it's not the end for us. And we live so much of our life as if this is the end, if this is the end. And we've been taught to fear the unknown so much. I find myself expanding. I, today, I was so in the cosmos. like, And all I could feel was love. Like All I could feel was this, 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 this resonation of peace and just just beauty and when I look at my life my life is full because I see the fullness you know I choose to see the fullness you know I I wrote something earlier about seeing the sickness at a very early age some of the things that I saw you know very early in my home life with my mother and my father um understanding um, that some of my mother's family was prejudiced and, and what that meant and what that meant for me and my brothers and what that meant for her and my father. And just, you know, just, I saw a lot very early and I've always seen a lot. I'll probably always see a lot. And I just look at how I'm realizing, like, how can one be angry at the sick? When I look at the pain in the world, when I look at those who kill each other over religion or race or nationality or sexuality, and I hurt, I hurt for us, but more than that, I look and I say, they are sick, they're sick, and I can't be angry at someone who's sick. I can only will that they will be well and whole. And what makes it even more profound is those that think they're well, sometimes I watch them speak and I don't want to judge them because I try not to judge, but I can definitely see the pain in their speaking and the sickness or the hurt or the disappointment that they're allowing to eat at them. And um, I just want to say I don't care. (laughs) I don't care if the world explodes. I'm going to live happily. And I'm going to live at peace. And I'm going to live trying to teach or show others through my actions and my deeds how to live in love and peace too. And and I want that peace to be an internal peace. That's where I'm starting within myself, you know, not getting vexed at the man who hands me extra papers. Um, not keeping myself in a heated or rushed state, getting up and, and making enough time to do the things that I need to do, doing the rituals that work for me, no matter who, what race was the person or ethnicity or nationality the person was who came up with it and, and creating my own rituals and, and really going within and really trusting my own God, the God within me, which is the God, which is in all of us, but the voice that is speaking in me and through me to be powerful and to be wise and to be strong enough. And, um, I'm excited about life. I'm excited about the life here and the eternal life that never ends. I'm excited about what's to come and what has already come. So I hope, you know, that you understand my silence at times and that you would come to enjoy your life just like I do. I love you. You are an awesome, infinite God being and goddess being. Do not be distracted, little ones, by what you see. Remember who you are and be at all times as much as it is in your ability and capability to be. You're stronger than you ever could have imagined. I love you. Peace.